where our pastors get it wrong, where church leaders get it wrong. A lot of the monies we receive in church are from evil practices, are from evil men. Sometimes we close our eyes. Sometimes we pretend as if we don't know. Sometimes we know, we say no matter where it comes from, when it enters the house of God, it is sanctified. I hear you. Listen, when an evil man, after doing the things I said earlier on, does blood covenant, these um, internet fraudsters, the reason they are killing their girlfriends, the reason they want to kill their parents, the reason they kidnap people and kill them is that they are the junior stage of this occultism to get wealth. So they, they are still at the very junior stage of um, the practice. You, they can't graduate to when a child would mature in another person's house and then the child would die. They are in a hurry to, to get rich. So they do this covenant and um, they need to kill adults. They need to, an adult need to die. They need to give you money, um, uh, infuse some favors into you. You become dependent on them. And then the time comes, you die as an adult. So that's why they do killing. They take body parts and all that. It's just the shedding of blood. That is their problem. Now, that's why they pound the babies. They need, they are, they are the kindergarten level. Now, those of them that have risen to the very high levels and they've become stupendously rich, governors, other top politicians, billionaires, what they do is that they come to church and donate big money. And you know, pastors like money because of the numerous projects that are oversized that some of them take. When they donate this big money, the pastor will now pray, the Lord bless you, protect you, no harm shall befall you. Let everybody say amen, amen. The Bible says, whosoever sin you forgive here on earth is forgiven in heaven. Whosoever sin you do not forgive here on earth is not forgiven. The Bible says this is how Aaron shall bless the children of Israel. May the Lord bless you. May his countenance shine upon you, and so shall it be. That word is called Beraka. In Hebrew and Swahili, it means praise. It is the pronouncement and anointed representative of God by virtue of his ambassadorial conferment here on earth pronounces upon an individual and it follows that individual. So they will build churches, they will donate this, they will donate that. Then when you finish praying and blessing them, then you now cover them with the blood of Jesus. Listen and listen carefully. Every Egyptian that was in the house of a Jew during the Passover, because of the blood on the doorposts, because of the blood on the doorpost, that Egyptian is covered from the angel of death, even if he's a first child, and is protected. So when you cover these politicians, these rich men, these benefactors with the blood of Jesus, and you pronounce blessings upon them, these are big general of us here, including Dr. Pokey. I don't, I'm very careful with people, don't mind me. When you pronounce blessings upon them and cover them with the blood of Jesus, you've won them a bulletproof. Nothing will happen to them unless they use their own hands to create disaster for themselves or law of retribution catches up with them. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you. Don't be jealous of people running your own track and do your own stuff. That was how David nearly slipped when he saw the prosperity of the wicked and that no harm befell them. Run in your own lane. Send a message to me on plus 234-7062-1367. No, <laughs> plus 234-7052-136763. Three, three. 
God bless you.